All right, we are back with another episode, and today we're going to be talking about top 10 interesting facts about the movie The Matrix. So in honor of the new Matrix movie that's coming out soon, I'm going to be talking about top 10 interesting facts concerning the movie The Matrix. So for those of you who don't know, The Matrix is a movie about the simulation theory that came out in 1999, and I'm just going to give you a brief explanation about the plot. When a beautiful stranger leads computer hacker Neo to a forbidden underworld, he discovers a shocking truth, the life he knows is the elaborate deception of an evil cyber intelligence. For years now, I've been obsessed with the concept of reality, like what is reality? Is reality what we can feel with our five senses or however many senses we have, like the movie The Matrix says, or is there something more to reality? If reality is just what you experience with your five senses, which are electrical signals interpreted by your brain like Morpheus says, then what would happen if those five senses disappeared? Does reality even exist? Does reality need an observer for it to exist like the observer effect says? So questions about reality, the nature of reality, do we live in a fake world? Do we live in a simulation? These type of questions go all the way back to the Greek philosopher times, such as Plato's allegory of the cave. In fact, that is one of the first matrix stories in history. And for those of you who don't know what Plato's allegory of the cave is, it's the matrix before the matrix. It is the original matrix type concept that was proposed by Plato, an ancient Greek philosopher. And I'm going to give you a brief summary of what Allegory of the Cave is. The Allegory of the Cave is a theory put forward by Plato concerning human perception. Plato claimed that knowledge gained through the senses is no more than opinion, and that in order to have real knowledge, we must gain it through philosophical reasoning. In the Allegory of the Cave, Plato distinguishes between people who mistake sensory knowledge for the truth and people who really do see the truth. It goes like this, the cave. Imagine a cave in which there are three prisoners. The prisoners are tied to some rocks, their arms and legs are bound, and their head is tied so that they cannot look at anything else but the stone wall in front of them. These prisoners have been there since birth and have never seen the outside of the cave, or you can use that as a metaphor for reality. They have never seen reality or the truth. Behind the prisoners is a fire and between them is a raised walkway. People outside the cave walk along this walkway carrying things on their heads including animals, plants, wood, and stone. The shadows. So imagine that you are one of the prisoners. You cannot look at anything behind or to the side of you. You must look at the wall in front of you. When people walk along the walkway, you can see shadows of the object they are carrying cast onto the wall. If you had never seen the real objects ever before, you would believe that the shadows of the objects were real. So yeah, that was a brief explanation of what the allegory of the cave is. So questions about reality, simulation theory, the concept of reality, what is reality? These type of questions have been asked thousands of years ago, and even to this day, it's on the horizon of people's minds. The simulation theory, uh, what is reality, the concept of reality, how do we know what's real, is there any merit to what's outside of our heads? So these type of questions are both fascinating, intriguing, and also kind of scary. But yeah, the Matrix movies are one of my all-time favorites because I love movies that get you questioning reality. When I was a kid, I used to like the Matrix for all the fighting scenes and the action. Now as I get older, I appreciate the Matrix for the philosophical concept and psychology of it. But yeah, let's get started here at Top 10 Interesting Facts About The Matrix. Number 1. The Wachowskis risked the film's entire budget just to make it the way they wanted. The original budget that the Wachowskis pitched Warner Brothers was over 80 million. Warner gave them 10 million, so they used all of it on the opening sequence with Trinity. The opening scene impressed executives at Warner so much that when they showed it, they greenlit the original budget. Fact number two, the film differentiates the Matrix and the real world through color. The scenes that take place with the Matrix are tinted green. Those that happen in the real world have more of a normal coloring. The fight scene between Neo and Morpheus has a yellow tint since it takes place in neither. Number three, Keanu actually climbed out the window without a stuntman. During the phone conversation between Neo and Morpheus within the Meta Cortex office, Morpheus instructs Neo to go through the window. Keanu did this himself without the aid of a stunt double. 34 stories in the air. Wow. Number four, the helicopter scene almost caused the film to be shut down. They flew the chopper through restricted airspace in Sydney, Australia. Laws in New South Wales had to be changed in order to let the Matrix proceed with filming. Which might explain why the Morpheus rescue took six months to prepare and plan. Number six, the Wachowskis worked on their version for the movie for five and a half years. The final product arrived after working through 14 screenplay drafts, took about 500 storyboards. Wow. Fact number seven, Morpheus in Greek mythology is the god of dreams, which is ironic since he's the man who wakes people from their dream states and introduces them to reality. Number eight, Keanu Reeves only has 80 lines in the first 45 minutes of the film. Damn, that's crazy. Each line he was probably getting paid thousands of dollars to say like one word. Of those 80 lines, 44 are questions, that's over half his dialogue, and it amounts to about one question per minute. Number 9, all of the color blue was removed from the exterior shots. The idea behind this was that it would make the outside world of the Matrix seem more grim. And the final fact about the Matrix is number 10. I'm gonna butcher his name, Jean Baudrillard's Simulacra and Simulation was required reading for all principal cast and crew. The book which is about hyperreality and the imitation of real world processes. 
can be found in Neil's apartment as well, along with Lewis Carroll's Alice in Wonderland, Karl Marx, Franz Kafka, and Homer's Odyssey were all hugely influential on the film. So in The Matrix, they actually had to study this book before they even started reading their scripts. So yeah, a lot of work went into making The Matrix films, and it's one of the most fascinating classic movies of all time, and I'm really excited for the fourth Matrix to come out. I mean, last time a Matrix movie came out was like back in 2003, years ago. I'm really excited for that. I think that's coming out like December 22nd, so you guys check it out. By the way, guys, if you want to support your boy, I did make Matrix-inspired merch such as this really dope hoodie. To anyone who decides to purchase it, send me a screenshot shot through my DMs on Instagram. It's Alpha Talks. I'll send me a screenshot if you decide to purchase it and I will enter your name into a drawing and and whoever wins will get this free dope matrix poster and i'll give you your money back for the hoodie that you purchased but yeah it's a really dope comfortable hoodie really dope by the way for those of you who are interested in psychology and philosophy like me i made a second youtube channel i'll post videos explaining psychological concepts and philosophy and all the links for all of that will be in my bio so let me know your thoughts on the simulation theory or what you think reality is thank you so much for watching and we're done